Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. Now usually one does a packing video before they go on a trip. This is my last full day here in Bulgaria, so I'm literally packing up. I'm here in my Airbnb. If you haven't seen the video of what this Airbnb offers, please check that out. The link is in the description box below. So I've chosen to come with Just Carry On, which I think is absolutely the best way. This is definitely the first time I've done Just Carry On, and it's worked beautifully. Initially, my trip was going to be really short, like three days. If you haven't seen my review of my ip luggage, pop that in the description box below. Got a couple of Ziploc bags, and my house keys are there. <laughs> And then I've got a little bit of cash here for TSA lock. So basically I just have one packing cube, hairbrush in these, if you haven't seen these before, my wash and wear side, that's just socks and underwear. And I've already decided from this process that I definitely need to buy merino socks when I'm home. I've got my merino underwear in here, which has been fantastic. I've got my care bear, and then traveling internationally, and then underneath the care bear is my cords, which are terribly messy and should be zipped out, but oh, because I'm still charging my cell phone. <laughs> That's why. But I had bought more because I've used trains and other public transport, but I'm holding it for the flight home. Shoved down the side. Um, these are like my sleeping masks, my face mask, and eye patches. And because I'm flying home tomorrow, you know, I only have the one left. I've got my little travel wallet here, which I haven't actually used space for coins, space for ca traveling cards that I will need, I've got a little cash from Kuwait, I've got a little cash from Romania and I've still got enough for tomorrow. Bose headphones which I use definitely in the hostel because I like to watch YouTube videos and other stuff on my phone when I fall asleep which is terrible practice but so I'm not disturbing others. This is what I carry for a long haul flight anyway. So it's not really any different. The only things I will say, because I've extended my trip, I did have to buy a deodorant. In terms of the clothing, I've definitely worn everything. A pair of PJs, and they're on top because I'm going to wear them tonight. I otherwise pack KonMari style because then you can see everything. Like this is literally on top so that I can just grab it out when I get to the hostel tonight. Then tomorrow my outfit will be my merino tight. This is the top that I tend to fly in. This is another merino top one pair of jeans and this top and I've got a thin the Uniqlo heat tech underneath. I did have one more top but unfortunately I got a hole in it as I've been away. So yesterday because I'm leaving I did go out yesterday and buy some clothes because <laughs> because I'm like oh I'm leaving and also because it's kind of cheap here so I thought I'd go and look and see if there was anything. So this is where this top, this is a long top and I haven't worn it yet, still got the price tag on it. Oh, I did end up buying a nighty, which I have not had a nighty in years, guys. I prefer pajamas. But, as I said, the same with the drying of socks. If it's cotton, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it just takes so long to dry. And then I bought a long black sleeve top. I went to this store, which I've never been to before, and they were just having a sale. So I bought a pair of black pants, which is really nice and thin, and dollars or something, and oh, and a, and a work shirt. I might repurpose this as a shoe bag in the future. I've got this bag, which does live in here usually, and this is just laundry, sit on top. Now, in terms of buying on the road, also on the first night I stayed, if we a couple of nights, I stayed in a hotel, so I did actually take their body wash. This was my original body wash in here. But as you can see, I've finished it up and I've repurposed it for moisturizer that I had to buy. I also, I usually have like a mini toothpaste, but I use that up. So I ended up buying a full size one as well, which is annoying, but it's 75 mils. So it's under the 100 mils. That's a brand I don't actually know. I think I'm definitely over the 7 kg limit. I did have to buy a full size moisturizer because I, I put this on my body and this is also good for face as well. So. They, I couldn't find Cetaphil, they have this brand here, and I've literally just this morning been at decanting. Rubbish. And sunscreen. I'm glad I came when it was cold because your jacket has so many pockets that you wouldn't otherwise have if you were traveling in summer. It's the only other bag that I have, and you can see it's not very big. <laughs> like, and it's worked out great, like I literally just have a little cash in here. 
Oh, a little blue paper in case I need to read. My passport and then otherwise just receipts and stuff. Um, yeah, absolutely nothing exciting and I could have a couple of those things out. But I've carried a crossbody and I've carried a crossbody inside my coat, which I, you don't necessarily need to do, but you know, I'm by myself. These are just things that make me feel safe. They have all these freaking coins that I need to use up. So I just carry these in my pocket and like to just have something that's a little bit more accessible because basically when I've got my bag inside my coat, it means when I'm paying for stuff I have to unzip my coat and it's like a whole to do. I mean it's fine when you're at like a supermarket or something but if I'm like at a little store then it's just easier to grab it. In terms of safety, I've got my hair in my bra, so again, if you get that far down me, thank you and <laughs> good luck. And I've got money in one of my pockets. It's just my little canvas bag. Because so many places charge for plastic bags now, which is great, and I have no problem bringing my own. Today I'm going by bus and I want to have these things at my feet. When I get back to Kuwait, obviously I won't need my coat. I do have one of these doohickeys that adds, and it's just new, I just bought it when I was in South Africa, and I've used it to put my canvas bag on, I will definitely use it to strap my coat to, and yeah, just great for when you're walking through places, it, I still have to get faster at undoing it, like when you get on board places, <laughs> like when I get on the bus today for example, I need to get faster at undoing it. But, you know, for such a cheap invention, it's actually been really great. Anyway, let me get this zipped up and I'll be on the road. What have I learned? I guess the thing is, with carry on, just to be aware that you're just going to have to buy stuff on the road. And I guess that irritates me in some respects because I'd rather be out seeing sights than like, ah, oh, I need to get some deodorant. Oh, I have to get my moisturizer. This is getting on and off trains and buses. I think it's just been stellar. Will's been great. Oh, yes and no, because these older towns with the cobblestones. Also, I think because I haven't bought my laptop. Initially, I was coming away for such a short time that I was just like, I don't need it. I should have bought it in hindsight, but that would have added another kg and a bit to my luggage.